YouTubers, YouTubers, Labas, hello, Privet, Ola, welcome back, or if you're visiting first time, hello. So, um, finished with the Stitch Mania, I guess. Uh, there's so much going on in my life right now. You know how it is, if something's going on, it's like many things at the same time. So, today is the last day for all three of my kids in schools, and my high schooler is having last finals today, so I'm hoping he did good. And I had to, we had to take the car in to fix, uh, well, van to put the extra wheel properly in. It's been out of the van, like, for a year, because they were planning to replace the part. So that was that, and um, I'm doing this right video right now versus like end of the month because we're about to leave to go over Atlantic to see my family in Europe. So yeah, I'm trying to get it all together, all the gifts bought and make sure kids, everybody have clothes that they want to bring or something to do in the airplane because we have to switch planes somewhere so and I hate shopping not online especially cross-stitch stuff you know that I can do all day and all night long and so also uh, we finally have a contract in our old house that we're we're trying to sell and there are a couple small things left to do so it's like all in one place within the one week we have to do everything and uh, so I figured out I'll do the video now and not to worry about it again I'll be gone like good month so um, I was wondering if you, would you like me to do some little little video like not a vlog but some little video excerpt um, excerpt yeah, I think so. A little part uh, to show a little town where I'm in Lithuania or not. So if you'd like me to see how some people live there or downtown, small towns or maybe bigger towns, let me know. Put in the comments below. Okay, so to the stitching. Um, I was participating first time in the Stitch Mania and I don't think I did all 15 of uh, new stars but I did maybe 13 or 14 because if you remember from my last video I was also doing a heat challenge so I was co really concentrating on that because I started on the May 1st and I'm practically done with it so I'm hoping within next few days or maybe by tomorrow I'll be finished with that so I was in really hurry to finish the whole big page done and there were many colors in there so I'll start with my new stars in Stitch Mania and uh, well the whips since I was doing majority of uh, time for Haid uh, I was spending about one hour of um, each day on uh, Stitch Mania starts. So this is what I was doing. I don't remember which day I was starting which design, but I I had this for a few years. I went to Cross Stitch uh, convention and I got this kit. And uh, this is how much I'm done only. I dyed my fabric myself, pretty much all of those uh, Stitch Mania things, very first time. So I'm, but I like this one, it's a sparkly, it was white. And I thought that would look very good and that's just like part of the wing. Um, I think like around here, part of the wing, part of my... Nail polish, no time with all the things going on to redo, which I'll have to do. So that was one day. Another day I was doing uh, Lana Sitch cars design, a little birdie, springy thing with tulips. And this is, let's see. 
This is what I got only. It's a shape of a bird's head. Not a lot, but like I said, I would spend about one hour. I would time myself. Just put in an hour and set aside. <sighs> Another one. I don't... Like I said before, I had some of the patterns for a while and lost the original coloring um, finished picture, but eh, I don't want to show the whole thing, but it's like a butterflies and moon and then look like a embroidered plants underneath or cruel embroidery and this one I dyed myself it's I think it's a linen but that's all I finished is the part of the moon I dyed myself this fabric which I thought sunset you know or sunrise with the butterflies butterflies are very shades and so that would look good uh, let's see, another day I started this couple. I liked it, it's like so innocent. <laughs> and I dyed this fabric too. Oh, I have written down what kind of fabric it is, but this is the bride's head and little veil in the back. For comparison, you can kind of see right here. So that was another day. And I was using Q-snaps for, I think for all of them. My own Q-snap that I purchased. I've tried, decided to try, never had Bucilla before, a uh, kit. I got this maybe at Walmart. So this is Birdie, mm -hmm. kind of cute, I thought maybe for somebody as a gift. And of course it's 14 count white Ada and it's been so long since I've stitched 14 count. So what I've done is just majority in the head, like right here, you can kind of see the shaping up and belly here. So that's all I've done with Fusilla. The mixed color pile is kind of intimidating, although it's not that many, which is good, yay. Uh, let's see, another day I started linen burlap towel that I cut in two. And I'm making this as a gift to store these things I love their tea I think it helps knock down the fever so but I, I would probably have to ask my mom she's usually more into all that stuff and I probably showed this last week which way does it go I didn't mark which stuff which was bottom but you can see the shape of the leaf, like this part. And it stitches pretty good. I've used the three uh, threads over one. Three over one for that. And another gift will be Clouds Factory Golden Girls. So those are girls. I love them. I like to watch when I can. So I had some 14 count uh, Ada and I dyed it myself. And this is Sophia, the spicy lady. So it's in honor of my canasta club of loud ladies. We had another last weekend, no, week 
before that we had Kanyasa gathering. Uh, I thought my eardrums would pop out and I was laughing so hard. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> always have a, we always have a good time. Um, let's see, I started this another one by Svetlana Sichkar. Uh, birth, it will be birth announcement. And so which one? Okay. And this is how much I've done. Just the top of bare head. It's a lot of single stitches and mixed stitches. And, but I'm sure the end result will be fabulous. I've done another one by her, another one by her, and which I'll show you a bit later. Um, let's see. One more design was it's gonna be orchid with a kitty, and kitty is below there. I dyed the fabric again. No, actually, this one. No, this was like a printed printed one and because um one side you have this purplish color and the other is white which is kind of weird it's not all the way through so do you know if i can wash this fabric or not i mean i started marking a little bit with my washable pen but I never tested it if you guys can tell me if you can wash this kind of fabric afterwards and it doesn't leak that color from printed I would appreciate it a lot before I went even further and with the marking although I probably might not do it since it's not like full coverage um, let's see my uh, last whip, Heaven and Earth, Ships and Shell. This one, I got only a few stitches. You couldn't even tell. So that's how far I've done. QS. So after I'm done with my heat challenge, I might work on this a little bit more. Uh, let's see so I'll show you my finished project a bit later this is my challenge which I was doing mini space traveler from Doctor Who I know it's not for sale anymore I just managed to get it right before Christmas <sighs> I wish I, I would known when certain designs would disappear so if they were on my list I would just go and grab it so that's like I have only one color left and it's like right here and tiny bit right here can you tell does it look similar and it's screeny sparkle and I ran out of it yesterday I could have finished it, but I ran out of the color. So luckily, I was able to grab my fixed cot van and run in the store in Joanne's, and they had it. Yay! So I can finish it. Whew. Okay, so um, I haven't fully finished framing. I was doing this as a gift, which I'm taking with me. So that was the design. And I made, I'm making that as a, like, birth record. Um, and I got, oops, I got a frame. I might need to iron a little bit more. I love her. My daughter loves it and she wants for her own. So I went to Hobby Lobby and they had half off sale. So this is where it's going to go. Just need to now, um lace it i went i thought i had more but didn't so i went and got a hand quilting thread because i always lace my designs in the back i never pin it or glue it um 
no. So I always lace it and then take it to the framers or whatever you need. So this is gonna go in there. Yep. Ah. So yeah, I'm hoping to be done in the next couple of days. Uh, oh, I have a one FFO, but I gave it to my daughter this morning. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> so, um, since today is the last day of school and um, I was kidding up stuff uh, to give as a gift to the uh, kids' teachers, so I made this one. Inexpensive little thing, but if you're planning to make this, be warned. The design doesn't want to stay in the frame. Hello again. Sorry, I got interrupted. My husband surprised me by coming home and bringing some lunch sandwiches. So, and if you hear background noise, it's my two kids already back from school. Yay, summer vacation started for them. So, um, now I don't remember where we talked. But anyway, um, I found one more a Stitch Mania whip. And I'll show you from further away what I was doing. It's like this woman's face. See? And again, I had my... 22, I never done 22 count fabric. Um, this is Ada, so I try to do, and this is almost an hour work, not exactly an hour while I worked on it. I did a little bit of the markings, but I don't think that it's gonna discolor much because I really try to heat set the discolor in the fabric so it has a little purplish tint, and I picked the I think it's 333 color for that face. So that was face. Um, so since I'm going on an airplane, international flight, I know they very strict with, um, with what you can bring in. But I got these scissors from local needle shop and I'm really hoping they're not gonna take it away from me because it not cheap okay and it says in here that it's airplane friendly so I'm hoping this tiny thingy will stay with me because I'd like to stitch um, and that long long flight so I'm really hoping kids will behave with themselves so um let's see that's that um so while uh, Okay, while I was out this morning, I picked up a couple small items from Joanne and uh, Hallmark, not Hallmark, oh, Hobby Lobby. And um, since I'm going to see my friend and it's going to be her birthday in Lithuania, I decided to buy this little thingy for her and she's going to be stitching it. She has, she loves cats, she has a cat and we used to have a dog, so... Um, I thought she might like to try a hand. I think she's done a little stitching before. And then I got some 28 count Joblin fabric, lamb's wool. Um, and uh, since I'm planning to do another Mirabilia, I can't remember. I think I've got more stuff since last time we talked. So I got Tacky Box. It's pretty, pretty sturdy holding uh, beads in there. And uh, figure out for airplane uh, to put in all my stitching besides uh, all the documents. I got this from Joann's. Big, pretty big bag so it can be uh, as my airplane carry-on purse. And when Joann's had a big sale for the floss, four for a dollar, I had picked more since last time. And um, I had them already sorted while shopping in separate piles. So the lady um, 
So there is a what was missing from another one and I just need to remember now which project it was for. So more DMC thread. I already had pretty much every color of DMC that there was that I bought some years back. But it's always good to have a little bit extra, I think. Yeah. And uh, during my lunch time, um, I went to check my mail, and my very first crime guard came. Very very first for air, just the time for airplane. It's from Doctor Who. Is that upside down? Yeah. So we have a Daleks, and I'm bringing small Q snap with me. And uh, my very first needle minders from Maggie. And I ordered like Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. I think Saturday morning. And today is Monday. Wow, that came fast from Florida, halfway through the country. So I'm very excited to try it out. Um, okay, and I have a question for you guys that's for especially those who who's been um, doing it for longer in different types of fabric um, my big living room is two-story with a whole floor windows and um, I was thinking what to put on the like because I have a lots of wall space there besides the windows um, try and figure out what to hang it there because right now it's plain walls and I have a black couch and a love seat so I thought about making this I love it it just calls to me and uh, stitching that an 11 count fabric so um, so since if I stitch a normal size it would look very very small up, up high there so I wanted them to people to see and myself to enjoy seeing it in the big format so my question would be if I did an 11 count uh, how many threads would be best to use three or four I was actually thinking about trying out the 10 stitch um, so so yeah the so first question if I use DMC for 10 stitch would four threads would be enough or not um, and another question have any of you ever tried to use pearl cotton like I, I've heard that one pearl cotton thread is equal to two DMC threads so is it true or false I haven't tried yet but I think I might try because and also I was thinking about using a black fabric so I don't have to stitch on all the black so yeah uh, if you know if you could tell me if you've tried that or if you heard somewhere else that somebody did and it worked well please comment below and tell me about it okay and I'm still looking for something else to do Maybe other side of the fireplace um, that may be also in black and white. Um, so let's see. Ooh, um, I do online uh, TV subscription, so I see everything that my parents see all the way there, and it's been saved for like five weeks backwards, so I can s watch something that they really liked and um, I missed it. So I just finished watching Eurovision contest finals and I really tried hard not to find out beforehand who won since it was about a week later and the end was intense for all the judges and the people's uh, choice voices points. Um, yeah, it was, it was varying for Australia, yeah, I made. <laughs> I love the Australia song. Uh, that's why they were kind of in the battle. According to judges, they won. They got the first place, but uh, all the people, voices didn't get them first. And uh, 
last two were Ukraine and Russia, and I loved those both songs really also a lot. And there were quite few great other songs, and I'm happy that they got a good high enough places, and that Wayne got in the top ten too. So I was very excited, and um, I ordered some items from. Uh, online from Russia store and Lithuania, um, Ukraine, cross stitch uh, store for kids or patterns. And uh, one of the kids that group kids that I ordered, I think from a Ukraine store, uh, got lost somewhere in the mail. So they're shipping again, and I probably won't get it before I leave. I really wanted to get it, but they were nice enough to reship it. For free so that's I love their customer service they're always right there and uh, and on time and uh, quick to answer questions and stuff like that um, so let's see oh for fun uh, I know some of you started talking about the books and I love reading books um, sometimes on the audio or like if I'm traveling in the car seems like I always have to do something I just can't Live anymore just doing one thing. It's like I have to always multitask. I think it's because through the years, I'm so used to kids always interrupting me that I am just have to do it something. So um, just finished Charlene Harris' uh, Suki Stack House series. You might know as a True Blood and as a TV series. So I have not read before the last book. I have most of the books except the last one I think and what I read if I get some book for a new one um, in the series I always start from the first one so I kind of start living with those characters book after book after book right away one after another until the very last one and I was surprised at the ending um, I mean you know, it's it's always like the bad guy that you got him to change a bit and like a best friend that's always stuck to you. So you have a chemistry with both and it was a surprise ending. Um, I wasn't sure which way it would go because it's very last in the series and she's not going to write a continuation for that. So it's, if you like, vampire stories and the werewolves and fairies in there um there's some r-rated stuff especially if you've seen anything on a tv show but i just kind of run through it um so yeah i finished that book and uh, next i'm gonna can start again with the st louis writer series who wrote started writing books way before the twilight and i think even shalene harris got popular uh, but i'll tell you about it next time uh so i think that's it i'll show you hopefully i'll do some stitching while traveling airplane and tri trip there while uh, spending time with my parents and um uh, yeah so um, think might be buzz. So very quickly, I uh, one of you um, in the comments asked me to show a little bit closer around. Um, ooh, sorry, for um, those mirabilia right here, a little bit closer. I don't remember exactly when I've done it, but so this is a winter queen. I have a glass that is um, what do you call? Not the theater museum quality glass and uh, there are spacers put inside so I didn't do any matting because I thought these frames are uh, already are like a mat because they have something here so this is summer queen and the spring queen I've done another sample of spring queen for my mom's birthday so yeah I have all four season queens and it took me a while to figure out the, how to lay them out I didn't want to let hang it up in one space like one line Ooh, sorry 
So uh, that's it and I hope you guys have a great stitching time. Uh, I want to thank all the past subscribers and new subscribers for watching and commenting. I binge watch every one of you so it might take a while to get to you um, because I watch every episode. So I subscribe to everybody that does to me and I watch and I try to comment and every comment that I get. So, so far I think I'm not behind yet. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later and enjoy this beautiful day and happy summer vacation. <laughs> Bye.